Question 12. The table shows the probability distribution of a discrete random variable. Part A. Show that the expected value, E of x, equals 2. E of x represents the mean or the average of the random variable x, and it's also represented by the Greek letter mu. And it's found by multiplying each score by its associated probability and then adding all those products together. And I've written it here in sigma notation. So in other words, it's sigma x times p of x, where sigma means the sum of. So I've shown it in two different ways. One way is to create a third row under the table, and it's the x px row. And I find these values by multiplying each score by its associated probability. So it's similar to the fx column in a frequency distribution table. So 0 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.3, 2 times 0 0.5 is 1.0, and so on. And then we add these values together. So I've shown that in the working out here. And adding these values together, we get 2 as required. Part B. Calculate the standard deviation correct to one decimal place. There are two ways we can work out part B. In the first way, we can use the stat mode on your calculator to enter the data from the table and then calculate the standard deviation directly. And in this case, we get sigma is equal to 0.894 and so on, which rounds to 0.9, correct to one decimal place. Alternatively, we can use the formula, the variance of x is equal to the expected value of the square of the random variable minus the square of the expected value of the random variable. So that's e of x squared minus mu squared. So applying this formula, we get var x is equal to 0 squared times 0, so that's the square of the score multiplied by its associated probability, plus 1 squared times 0 0.3, plus 2 squared times 0 0.5, plus 3 squared times 0 0.1, plus 4 squared times 0 0.1, minus the expected value of x squared, so that's minus 2 squared. And this 2 here we found in part A. So the variance of x evaluates to 0 0.8. And to get the standard deviation, we need to take the square root of the variance. So taking the square root of 0 0.8, we get 0 0.894 and so on, which rounds to 0 0.9, correct to one decimal place.